Hey folks, welcome back to Stranded Alien Dawn. Uh, middle of the night, We've got our aggressive animals, uh, the two ones that are going to explode over there. But I have got a long list of to-dos to get done this episode. I have no hope of getting through the list. The rate that they get things accomplished, but it's still worth trying. Let's get, uh, oh, Carter is still on his way to sleep. So sleep up here doesn't necessarily mean sleeping. Okay. But we need more storage for foods. We're full again, and we're starting to store way out over there. So what if we took this guy and put it... Put it over here. Uh, move onto that wall. And we can... Let's see, we've got recreation there in the sense of appreciating the shroom lamp of recreation here and i think we're going to be finishing our music today so maybe on the back side of this area here let's see copy we could build kind of a i don't know if i can can i do that yet i didn't move it i see we're not opening up because we're blocked <clears throat> We can put the musical instruments here. Um, we're blocked because of the dartboard and because of the lights. Which I think we're going to have to keep. Because we have no way to put lights on anything else other than the very end walls. They won't, they won't mount to these posts. Meteorite. Boom. Hmm. But, um, so I guess we'll keep two walls. Let's get some storage in here. Which, by the way, we need to, say, to take coffee and smoke leaf pipes they're gonna have to go over somewhere else um, this group over here can take all the rest of the others okay but no coffee yeah too bad coffee and tea are in other instead of cooked foods that's gonna be kind of confusing we'll see how many drinks there really are by the time it's all done but with you now saying you'll take coffee let's copy you now over here there copy and let's run a row there uh, that's one too many but let's see right there one two there we go oops so you can I get rid of just the one cancel there we go yeah that's happier what was that oh, okay more materials but it's still something's off there Oh, you're kind of hanging out. We might... Can I get just that last one again? That's more like it. Okay. You. Copy. There you are. You're down below now. And let's do... Rotate to there. Like that. Oh, I did it again. And rotate to... There. It's just three green triangles. Nope, I guess I did stop in time. Is there three in there? I think that's correct. If not, we'll... Yeah, it looks correct. Pause. It's already four o'clock. Okay. So... Oh. Getting food to eat. Ah, okay. But we've got these guys. They're going to pop any time. And two of them go boom. And I don't want them in our, our uh, settlement here going boom. I don't know what kind of damage they do. So let's let's get everybody woke up. Boom. Yeah. And you guys all make your way out to... Hmm. They're over here, right? Yeah, they're in this area. And I want to keep them from walking through here and blowing up our stairs or our gardens or something. Let's head this direction. Everybody come out here. When they aggro, let's see, if we can get to 5 o'clock. Problem is, time's kind of wonky compared to what they really do. It'll take them two hours to get out to the field. Yeah, oh well. When 24 hours isn't 24 hours, you got to make up for it somewhere. But i still got them all queued up, waiting for some kind of a notification. They were over here... One, two, three, four, five, six, and two more hiding somewhere. Ah, seven, eight. 
Alright, so where are we now? We're working our way through here. Oh, there's the attack. Alright, now are they heading toward us? They are, so they're not off to go blow up our bed or anything. Okay, they want us. Good. So you come on in over here. Uh. <laughs> I'd set these guys to hunt. And I guess they're now hunting. Oh, the birds just flew up in the air. I wonder if they... The uh, Pankoth got startled by the beetles running through the bushes. There's another Pankoth right there. Where do the beetles go? There they are. I'm just wondering if they are going to conflict and try to attack each other. They're aggressive. So they're aggressive toward us, but they're probably aggressive toward anything else, too. I'm curious to see what happens here. These guys are fleeing. They're coming in. And the attack has begun. Okay, make that guy go boom. Uh, Alright. Oh, get the red one. Get the... Somebody shoot him. Shoot him, shoot him, shoot him. No! Okay, that was close. Guys, you... Full daylight, well, I guess it's just sunrise, so maybe that was playing tricks on your eyes. But, did Paulette ever get a chance to shoot? She probably did right here. Alright, so, took out those guys. We took out both of our, of our, uh, hamburger. Yeah, well, I guess we should observe them today and figure out what they are. They're... Click on one, I forget from last time. Big horned animals, yeah. So we're pause, you guys all undraft. And Simon, what is your current condition? You're in great shape. On your way back in, you could use a meal eventually, but let's have you just observe these guys on your way back. Observe big bugs. Okay, um, Carter, you are extremely unhappy. Rita didn't get her, her well, that's, yeah, Rita, you didn't get your, your meal. You were hungry. And Paulette, is that you? Yeah, you're in great shape. What can you do while you're here? Why don't you, let's double click all these guys and butcher them. Do that, butcher over here, butcher and... Any more hiding in that area? Butcher. All right, Paulette, why don't you butcher on your way back in? Let's uh, let's save a trip. So butcher five, actually butcher one of you and then butcher five of you. And if you got anything left in you, butcher those. But you might cancel that order by, by then. So Carter is stressed out. He's taking a walk. Carter, food? Yeah, relaxation's first. When you're done with your walk, Come on over here and find some kind of a, uh, something exciting. In fact, did we ever actually get coffee? Um, no, it's in other and it's not there. So why don't you then grab a buttermelon pie when you're done? And Rita, you could use some food and you are planting. Now, can you grab another buttermelon pie? Or is that kind of, you can too. So let's do that instead. So, get you two cranky pants in there and get something something fun to, inside you. Paulette's working and Simon is working. Okay, back to my list. That, that midnight till 4 a.m. went by really fast. Um, heptagonia syrup. Let's see what we can do with that. Um, hot drinks, coffee. So, we did we not set you? Wait a minute, back up. Coffee, coffee, yeah. So I clicked on it. Let's get 10 of those. Let's, that's not the right one word. Coffee go right there. Let's get nine of those. Okay. Smoke leaf tea. Let's get 10 of those. I guess we made one coffee. Why is it, why were there only four in the list when I can only go by fives? I don't know. That math doesn't add up. But um, anyway, hot drinks, nothing. Quick recipes, that's the same ones. Tasty recipes. No, nothing changed there. What do we do with that sweet syrup? Ooh, fruitcake. Happiness plus 18. Yes, please. Let's... Boy, I'm tempted to do more than... Uh... Mm, no, we'll just do the four. Otherwise, she'll spend forever cooking and never get to anything else. 
All right, so until we have four of those. So that gets you guys going again. And what else is on my list? Leather. How is the... Uh, you guys are 92%, so we can't do pipes yet. Can we do leather yet? Uh, craft. There you are. So let's do 10 leathers until we have 11. Yeah. So always keep a stock of leather in, making it from the bark skin, I think it was called. So there's that one. Cross that off the list. Armor, I guess we'll figure out when we actually have some leather in stock because it's still not showing up in the tailor bench. Berries. We still need to go collect all those berries out there before they rot. That's probably a Rita thing once they get, once they get done with their, uh, their cooking. And Carter... Cutting didn't have any prerequisites or skill levels, so it doesn't matter who ascend to cut trees, it's probably all still going to happen at the same speed. Almost tempted to send all of them in, cut all the trees down all at once, and just be done with this constant deficit of logs. But there's so many other jobs that need to get done. So, Rita, I'm going to send you out. What are you, what are you trying to... Praise Carter for advancing their fighting skills. Oh, that was very nice of you. But you want to go and... I don't know. Or, or we can't see what you're going to do. Oh, you're going to go plant. I need you to get all those berries that were waiting out here. And instead of doing any more of those, let's just concentrate on the berries. Zoom in a little. What do we got? 30 and 90. And... that it? I kind of... Oh, oh, there's even more over there. Let's go to the furthest one. And... Why don't you haul bush fruits? Okay, that's your job for the day. Carter, once you're finished, you're... Oh, wait a minute here, Rita. You need some relaxation or you're going to cave again. All right, let's pause and make you enjoy life for a little bit. Appreciate those. And then come out and make the, and get these. Yeah, that's probably a smarter plan. So those are hiding back in this one. I lost those things. Hello, there you are. So then come and get that one. Okay, Carter. Finish that up. Your relaxation is tanked too. Let's have you discovered Olfen. Carter, you free? You're not. Get done with your meal. Now you're free. Um, move the dartboard. Then appreciate the shrooms. And then I'll have you play some darts. What are Olfen? The Ulf were large animals who lived on my planet before we humans caused their extinction. I hope that the gentle giant here will have a better fate, so I named it Ulfen. My hopes may be in vain, though, because this herbivore animal is relatively easy to hunt down and butcher, and it will probably yield a lot of meat and skins essential to our survival. Hmm, so we've got a little bit of a balancing game going on. Um, so Carter's going to move that, and he's coming back... Paulette, you are picking up all kinds of bug meats. Good. I'm guessing you're going to go ahead and get them all. We'll give you a second here to find out, Carter. Um, he put up the dartboard, I hope. We'll see if he actually did. It's 11 o'clock. Oh, we're, we're going to skip some of the bug meat. Okay, I guess that's as good as... Or did I... There you are. We missed a 25. Hmm, okay. Carter, you are constructing a fence. You did get it done. Let's have you do one more recreation. Get that up a little bit higher. And then I want you to, if you don't ignore my orders, want you to um, cut a big broadleaf tree, cut a tree, cut a tree, and cut a tree. Oh, I don't think I clicked on those. I was so excited I got the yellow cut. All right, something like that. All right, you're doing those things. And Simon made his way back inside. He's already researching musical instruments again. Okay, so I want all those trees cut because I really want to get these walls in so that I can lay out the rest of this building and get the roofs uh, sections laid out. And of course, we need to get this done so we can stop storing food over here and make it such a long walk from the kitchen. Paulette, you 
are bringing those in. I wish you'd brought the rest of them in, but I have a feeling if I had had you drop it and go get the other, you may have just skipped the 52 and brought back the 25. So, yeah. If they don't do it on their own, they don't seem to be able to recreate it afterward. But the dartboard is moved. We have three structures to put in. We've got those to put in. And if Carter is going to stay happy, boy, he's got a good long list of, of positives there. After he's cut these trees, maybe I can get him to finish up here before he comes down to work on these. Um, Paulette, Rita. Oh, good. That was a quick run. Dried smoke leaf. We must be finished. Pop in over here. And oh, our first batch got done. Okay. Um, clicking on it doesn't do any good. Nothing more. I can do something here. Dried smoke leaf leaves. Using crafting of pipes. And used of, in smoking with pipes, too, I would imagine. But uh, so let's move veggie leather up a bit. And although spears are important. Um, yeah, we're, oh, I see, because we're chopping trees. That's going to go away in a moment when he gets the next tree down. Um, what was I going to do? I was going to craft pipes. Let's craft four pipes. And until, and yes, and then let's move the pipes up. Add one more round of possible, we're going to rot away some, some bug meat stew. Well, I, I understand why they didn't jump at the opportunity to eat that. Yeah, I, I get it. Okay. Um, I need somebody to go and butcher those olfins, we're calling them. But I'm not going to bother Paulette again. I'm going to be thankful. Although, if you wait a second, let's rearrange here. Boy, I wish I could just put a one in there, like the Steam wish list. Type a one and it goes to the top. Um, fruitcake, let's send you up. That's a plus 18. I want you up there. How far up, I don't know. Let's, because I want coffee up there quite a ways too, and it'd be nice to see what the tea does. So send coffee up, let's send tea up, and we're just all going to be a little jittery for a while because we're just going to be on a sugar high and drinking our coffee. <laughs> oh, you reset. All right, we've got to get that fruitcake in. Yeah. Okay. So, Rita, you want to plant so bad, but I think you're my candidate for getting this meat in before it all goes away, which was where? We were over here. Can you come over? You're in decent shape. Yeah, no risk of meltdown. Can you... I got the right one, right? Yeah. Um, butcher, and then butcher. And hopefully you'll haul them all in. And I need to get somebody else. Um, Simon, as soon as you finish that, uh, let's do it while it's still night. Grab the rest of this bug meat that I've already lost. I want to say that was nearby. It should be kind of... There you are. Come get the bug meat. Haul. Yeah, let's get that done. Um... Carter, you are... Oh, you did it without even being told. You know what the priorities are. What you doing? You need one more piece of wood, maybe? Quite possibly. No, you're going to go work on a fence. No, 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 no. Can we get the house built? Thank you. Oh, so much for knowing what your priorities are. <laughs> Dude. All right, let's watch this. Our first kind of log cabin. Kind of almost finished, but not quite. But we'll celebrate it anyway. Let's get the first bedroom done. Though I don't think I really want to move them all up here yet, because imagine I have to walk all the way up here to get some sleep, then all the way back down there to, to get breakfast. Yeah. wonder if we should move some of these shelters up here and get our temporary housing near our permanent housing and just kind of start moving ourselves up here. That's possible. New resource. 
fruitcake. An exquisite fruitcake made of fruit, grain, and sweet syrup. Mm. Um, constructing fence. You are so determined. Let's get the doors done. So, construct three wooden doors. Thank you. Then, of course, you'd be angry at me and won't want to do anything. Yeah. Um, we could also leave some of this. Now, think about that. There's an update coming out in a, oh, a few days from releasing this video. Actually, probably a very few days. On the 24th. Um, plus a couple days for hot fixes to get all the bugs worked out, most likely. That's the way it always works out. But um, Taming Animals is coming out for this game. You'll, there'll be dogs that supposedly have crash landed with you and or crash landed with some of these other ships, supposedly, and so are roaming loose on the planet, as well as the ability to tame the wildlife with a tranquilizer gun shot out of the crossbow, which we have not constructed because we have our railgun snipers, but this guy right here. So like a tranquilizer gun. But, um, and I'll be able to train the animals and use them for combat as well. Pause, what is going on? You are grab, oh. She needs to make leather, but we don't actually have anything brought in. That's right. That's also on my list. Bring these in. So instead of just grabbing enough to make that happen, Paulette, how about you haul all of the skin bark in? Like, let's go to the very furthest one. Maybe you'll track through here and get it all. Or we can just tell you one more time, please haul. Wow. It's the whole group, and so you're going to go to the one that you pre-programmed to go to. Insufficient storage space. Ooh. That's why she can't go and get them all. There's nowhere to put it. Simon is researching. Carter is probably insisting on getting that fence done. Let's cancel from here to here. Because I get to thinking, this is our pathway down to the garden. We may have a fence that runs along here with a big gate, and we may not even keep this one. I don't know. So there's no point in running across. Well, I don't know the final layout yet. And they're not eating it like I had feared. So let's cancel all of these. And let's get Carter working on these shelves instead. Constructing shelves. And you're going to pick up some more wood. Okay. So that does that. She's still not going to get the skin bark that I'd wanted. So you're just going to get enough to... Yeah. That's... Shelf... Storage is going to be an issue. Wait till we harvest all of these and have to figure out where to put it all. Yeah. So... What's happening out here? Rita is transporting 77 meat. Oh, thank you. Because I forgot to to watch you and make sure you didn't just bring back all of the hides which can sit outside for 12 days so they're gonna be okay if I double click I can't find the other where was the other so one there and one further over there you are okay so double click now I see the advantage of not clicking everything on the map when you double click on something but there's also the advantage of being able to do that and find it all if, if they're not right next to each other they won't they won't trigger together so you've got to know where things are you are bringing that in Simon is finishing up musical instruments because you did bring in the bug meat so we're, we got 60 bug meat now okay 60 she brought in 50-something, he brought in 25-something. Has she already made more soups? No, because there's four of them. Why do we not have enough bug meat? What did you do? Did you leave some behind? You left three behind. Oh, well, and some of it may have rotted away. What is the time span on that one? Six days and it rots. But I would imagine the animals will eat it. We'll see about that. Uh, Paulette is working on that. Carter is hungry. But he's getting one shelf. Oh, he's got some shelf units built. Okay. So, probably time to stop 
uh, min-maxing them. In fact, uh, 2300 Carter, you do what you want to do right now. You want to go to sleep. Yeah, I'm going to leave you guys alone. And Paulette is dropping. Oh, you did get it all. So what needed... Oh, maybe bug me can only stack to 60. And that's what triggered the we're out of room. Yeah, okay. Um, this guy here, did I ever get everything set for un... No. Come on, pop. Oh, it's right there. Okay, I want coffee and tea. There you are. And that one needs coffee. And all of these have coffee already because I copied off of you. Okay, so the coffee's figured out. All right, so you're crafting. I'm tempted just to make sure that you aren't incapable of going to sleep. There we go. Who's left? Rita is bringing the last of the meat in. She's going to hang it. So meat goes here first. But if I wanted to make meat soup out of it, raw meat. So how do we decide where the meat goes? They're deciding for us. I don't know. I mean, I can say don't use any raw meat here, but then we'll never get any dried meat. Huh. I guess we just need to have such an overabundance that there's enough for both. Maybe, but good luck on that. We've got 48 slots in here. Huh, so there's an advantage to having a couple of small ones instead of one great big one. That's quite possible. Oh, well, let it go this time. Figure it out later. Um, Rita got the good one. Good. And everybody else is asleep, and we'll let them do their thing. We're about to rot those away. So, um, yeah, guys, um, don't get the green... Those are like... Oh, that's that's flame or fire or smoke coming off of the uh, the light fixture in there. I thought that was coming out of the pot. Like it built up pressure was blowing steam out. But yeah, the green uh, uh, mist coming out of there should be a warning. Oh, the flies? Yeah, that should be a warning sign. Don't eat that. We, we found that out last time. Um, one in the morning. Oh, it's the moon. I thought I was seeing the sunrise already coming up. That is a moonrise. And, boy, that's a big moon. Yeah. In reality, I think we would have a, uh, not a ocean tide, but a crustal tide with a moon. The gravity, the gravitational pull of a moon that big and that close. There would be massive earthquakes all across this planet. But, yeah, let's not science it too hard here anyway it looks good <laughs> we are running it's two in the morning no more bug attacks carter reached construction six and we have enough logs to do everything that we need to do wow how many episodes has it been since then so we did pull most of these trees out um needing to get done is what over here, we need to get the rest of the shelves built. We need to get the shelters built. Is there anything on these shelves? Uh, no. No, I'm moving around. Nothing is tracking. So I can't test to see if a shelf outside is considered under a roof because it's on a shelf. Probably not, but then again, these guys aren't rotting at all, even though they're not under a roof. So... I don't guarantee the shelves work that way either. But nothing there to test. Three in the morning. Any new changes? We got surprised last time because we haven't been doing our our uh, nightly tours. These guys are on uh, on scouting mission looking for something to take down. You didn't take any of these guys down. No, they seem to be coming from here. Maybe they walked this direction, took one look at those horns and said, nah, 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 nah. Let's, let's go back. <laughs> so you're looking for uh, looking for prey, but there's nothing in your path right now. Hmm. Sun's coming up, but they're all still sound asleep. Anything? Got a dragonfly living over there. Do need to get Simon working on these guys. Uh, more of our flatheads over here. 
Anything else move in? And when do we dare go after some of those bugs to get the nanotubes? Yeah. Next episode? Is that a thing? I mean, we're in between... Musical Instruments is done. Nice. We're in between bug attacks. Mm, I want to get so much of our list done. In fact, speaking of list, there it is. Oh, that looks good. I want to get the, more of the list done. But wouldn't that be something? Hmm. Next episode. I'll, I'll put it on my list. In fact, I'll flip the page. Yeah, the whole point of getting everything done this time is I'm at the b bottom of my page. I'm ready to flip to a blank page. So I, I don't want to have to recopy all these over. So <laughs> I want to get them done. So, um, yeah. Um, we'll, we'll make the attack next time. This time, we want to... What else is on my list while I'm sitting here staring? We pick up the berries. Or over there, we'll get another time. Um, make hats. We're halfway through the heat, the hot season, and we haven't had any kind of a, of an issue with heat. So, I'm going to say the hats aren't as important as they could be. If this was a desert biome, maybe that would make more of a, of a, be, be more important. Food storage, we're pretty much done. Uh, plant berries, yeah, I never let Rita get a chance to do her own job. Um, I thought about something. Let's verify something. Paulette is sleeping over here. Carter's over there. Do they still kind of... Yeah, we have a plus 15 on Carter for Paulette. Paulette likes Simon a lot more, though, because she's spending more time with him over here. Simon, yeah, he kind of is a thing for Paulette, too. Okay, I was going to move Carter over and swap him out with, with uh, Simon, but yeah, we'll leave them be. They, they might do something. And Rita is enjoying Simon's company as well. And yeah, Simon and Carter, now yeah, they're they're mortal enemies. Yeah, hmm. Don't know if we're going to fix that one at all. Um so that one's a, a no go. We've got the Heptagonia cooking figured out and roof. Yeah, so the next thing to do, let's let them sort their own things out for the morning. Um, I wonder if putting a, oh, let's see here, orders, manage, activities, no, a manage and schedule. I wonder if a relax should be like right here instead of there. Let's change this to an anything. They can, and let's put a relax right there. Start through day in a better condition. See if they can make it through the day. I think so. Musical instruments. People have played music since the beginning of time. We're running? Yeah. We can surely make some instruments with the materials we have at our disposal. All right. Furniture. A hand pan. Let's go ahead with that idea of putting the musical instruments over here. Um, I want to make it right there. And is there any benefit can more than one person use it at a time let's copy put you right there and let's cancel you i see there's arrows from all four directions and the furniture the didgeridoo that's like australian right i want to say that sounds almost like aborigine something like that you access from one site only maybe we get a little bit of a band going on here yeah um, taking a walk because we hit is a seven to eight or eight to nine. Manage playing darts, but must be in it. So schedule it is seven and eight. All right. So you're anybody still sleeping? Nope. Um, pull out a little bit. Paul is over here. Shared a, a shared a favorite recipe with Simon. All right. So I think they are building up a relationship. Did we ever get this thing built? We did. So if anyone ever gets the the hankering to uh, start a relationship we have our wedding arch done with this exquisite background over here of lots of colors and I never did find out if these are fruit 
No, that didn't come up. So it must just be the uh, uh, the leather aspect of them. Okay, and that's all. Did we actually get them all? We did pick them all up. Good. All right, so that's done. Um, Rita is planting. Yeah, I'll let her do her thing. Simon is researching what? Simon, you are in what kind of condition right now? You are full. You're rested. You're relaxed. You can't get much better. Let's get you out there for the day. And you're all the way out here. Simon, can you research the pointy red plant? Let's get that one done. Um, Rita, you are going to finally get your planting done. Paulette, you are eating. Then I hope you're going to make much more, I don't know, coffee or something. Yeah, let's get to coffee making. Do we have enough grain left to partial fail? What was that? Rotted away. A partial fail. I have no idea what that meant. <laughs> Did you feel eating? It looked like plus two f over here. I don't know. That was that was kind of odd. You are making those. Let's move coffee up. Uh, right there. And coffee, let's take you up one notch so we can see what that is. And actually, can you, Paulette, haul the butter... Uh, buttermelon pie and haul the grain. Let's put everything back on the shelves. Oh, the shelves are way over here now. Yeah, I guess we're out of room over here. Um, what is with this shelf? We've got room over here. Okay, well, you're dropping that off. Now you're going to... Now let's make some coffee. So, Paulette and... Boil coffee for us. Thank you. Let's get that in stock. That might uh, that might help us out in the afternoon when we are uh, rotting away three meats. When we are exhausted and and we're at our wits end. We'll see what the coffee and maybe the tea will do for us. Did you make the... Boy, it's hard to get them to do what you ask, isn't it? Um, device is not working. And can I get you to make coffee now? I cannot. Device. Device is working. Oh, 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 oh. Is coffee some... Oh, I see. I didn't catch that little bar right there. So she sets it and it can do it by itself. Okay. Well, that's, that's actually better than I ever imagined. Okay, great. We have five coffees. And it will then be loaded into here until she swaps it out for something. That's how it works. Okay. Well, I'm going to bug you again. Can you do the same thing for tea? If you're there, I don't see you. Uh, we don't have enough smoke leaf because we haven't... We have. We have gobs of smoke leaf. Okay. I'm going to keep bugging Paulette. Um, haul dried smoke leaf. Apparently we have to get it on a shelf somewhere in order to be able to use it. Okay. I'll, I'll work with that. What's everybody else doing? Who else can I bug? Carter, you are constructing a shelf. Thank you. And yeah, I'll let you do that. Paulette, you're, yeah. Rita is planting. And Simon is way the heck out over there. All right. You now have smoke leaf. Pause. Can you now make smoke leaf tea? Not enough resources. All right. What am I missing? Um, you smoke leaf. You need raw smoke leaf. Oh. And now we're into the same problem. How do you tell them to stop putting it there without shutting everything down forever? I can't make small limits. You know, I, I've been playing Dwarf Fortress on my own, and you can say, only use when there is so much in stock somewhere else or something like that. So you can have raw versions and dried versions still sitting around. So she can't make those... 
I just got an achievement. No animals harmed for veggie leather. Ah, okay. I saw my achievements when we made our first weapon. Um, the achievement, I call it Vera, came up. I thought about that for a moment, then I realized... That's talking about Jane from Firefly. I call it Vera. <laughs> I like Jane. That was such a funny scene. <laughs> Anyway, this game does have quite a sense of humor. So we are making veggie. We now have veggie leather. All right. Let's think about this for a minute. We still do not have a armor category. Can I make armored pants now? I still cannot. So how do you... Okay, is it a research thing? Manage? Um, maybe it was a research thing. Synthetic armors, that's what it is. It takes two days to manufacture them. That's going to be a thing soon. We're making fuel now. We need to make the electric grid. Oh, and then we need to figure out how to make the fuel once we have the ability to make the fuel. Fuel mixing. Various readily available catalysts that can turn vegetable oil or animal fats into liquid fuel. The reaction is simple enough to be done on a workbench by an inexperienced worker. So what happens here? Fuel fermentation, the rotting meat of giant in alien insects. It says it'll make fuel too. So two different ways to make fuel, from fats or from insects. I see. Okay, well once that happens, we're not gonna be making meat soup out of insects anymore. Yeah. How long is that gonna take? That's a one-day thing. Okay. Uh, Simon, you are almost, well, more than halfway done over there. Um, whoa, Carter's cutting. I did set him to cut next, but I was hoping that would mean you would get up here and would cut trees. So are you, you're in great shape. Can you instead cut that tree, cut all of the fallen trees? In fact, make sure you get these two. I see three, but this says two. And maybe even go over there and cut those. Let's get lots and lots of logs in our uh, inventory so that we can dive into this. All right. Let's pause and think about this a little bit. So I want to make a common room here. And then I want two more bedrooms. Extend the hallway a little further. And another common room here. I'm thinking this common room is probably kitchen, stove, dining table, places to sit. Um, in the common area, we need fireplace and whatnot. Hopefully, if the I know vents have still been in you know, heat distribution, is still kind of uh, janky. So I don't know if vents are going to be enough with a common fireplace. But so a big common room. Big enough that maybe I don't want a porch that goes the whole length. Maybe we want to make this room out over here instead of a porch that extends around. Kind of like that idea. Let's put a building floor wood and up to match. I was using threes over there. I see threes aren't going to work over here anymore. But if I do threes over here... No, I'm going to have to go to sixes now. We were threes at this point. At least I thought we were. It's not acting like it anymore. Oh, well. It was X and Z, right? Yeah, I guess we're at six now. Darn. Didn't want to waste the extra wood. But I guess that's what we're doing now. So how big? If we made the front door the center, that looks pretty close. The stairs are right there. Yeah, I think that works. But is there a reason to get out on the porch? I guess I haven't put the walls up, so yeah, we could do that. We could leave a thinner porch on that side. Maybe that's the way to do it. So, that was five deep for the bedroom, and one more to the door. That's six, and we are six wide, so that is center. Let's go with that one right there. Get that one built, and give me walls, storage... No, I mean buildings, walls, wood. Um, let's do something like there, 
there. Leave a smaller porch. We'll run the perimeter to there. And I don't know where to put a dividing wall in there. It's not going to be this big. I mean, that would be pretty hard to heat, I would imagine. So, and I don't know where the door... Well, I'm going to have to put a door in just to make this happen. So, it would... I guess it would be a door instead of an archway so that you're not... Mm, heat flow, though. I, whatever heat is in here. I wonder if we should heat the hallway and then drop it into all the rooms from the hallway. Um, heat here. Fireplace in the hallway. Does that look really odd? Probably. Yeah. Okay. Um, though I kind of like the idea. What if we alcoved for a fireplace? How big is the fireplace again? It is two. So let's deconstruct you and and you. Deconstruct you. And let's build instead a... Well, if I can get Carter to do that right now, I'd really like to see it done. Where do you, well, before I bug you. Yeah, you're still cutting. I'm going to leave you alone. Anyway, uh, Paulette, you are in between jobs. Oh, you're making your first pipe. I kind of want to see that happen. All right, I won't bug you. Rita is... Hauling, handling torch. Rita, come on up here and break this for me. Can you deconstruct both of those? I want to see what happens when I do this. So I'll let that run while I'm building. We're still on slow mode. Uh, insufficient materials. Yeah, I kind of broke that. Um, building wall. Uh, wall wood. Let's go from there to there to there to there. And... That tells me this room probably ends right uh, wall. Actually, well, we'll see. Wall and wood probably ends here now. Okay, you did that. We can put the fireplace right in there. Let's let you get out of there. So fireplace is light and heat out of stone. You went there, heat up the hallway, vent into all the rooms, and I doubt that's going to be enough for everything, but we could put another heat source, another uh, light, another view right back behind it, like that. And then I suppose we could go with a doorway, double doorway, there. That didn't work. Okay, double doorway there. So the hallway becomes part of this room, but we have two heat sources to run both of it, plus vents, which are heat, yeah, vents, into the walls. Um, I guess we'll make them symmetrical there and there. So this becomes, well, this could become another bedroom, but I was thinking of more common space. We won't give it a designation yet. But I do need to have a door. Well, then I gotta figure out what that means. Do we door in from the hallway, or do we door in from the common space into a common space? We could do both. I don't see why that's. Yeah, for for flow, that would be fine. Okay, buildings, doors, and a wooden door right there. Okay, so that gives some access for construction. That's what I'm getting to. We still need to think about windows yet, but let's go with that, and then. What I've been waiting for this whole time is that roof. You, wood, and I've got to drop you down to there and rotate you to there. So I want you to do something like that. Now, I could have the porch wraps around by just extending it one beyond. I don't think it's... Actually, I did want that so I can put things on the porch. And I need to be able to walk over to them. Okay, yeah, I'm still fighting that, aren't I? Yeah, I am. Which means... Okay. Alright, let's just... We'll just put one over. I think... We'll s Can we still get access to what's sitting out here with another 
building, floor, something not quite the same height out here. I wonder if the not being on the same level would be restricted not to not be able to load a furnace or something or a, a fermentation barrel if I had them stacked up along this length here. I don't know. So that took out the symmetry, but still that looks pretty good. I, I like it. Though we could put the stairs then over here at this end and use this also to stack things you know more barrels or something along the front instead of a pathway around but it'd be nice to get things under a roof yet not have to build full buildings for them that's what i'm thinking multiple uses of that space but that gives us a sense of what's we only need a thousand wood now wow okay a good sense of what's happening there i guess we do need to well I was going to say we need to think about planting trees, but no, we don't need to think about planting trees. <laughs> 30 trees, that's 900 wood. Yeah. Um, Carter, no more cutting. Can you get... Oh, you built them already. Oh, I was going to say, can you get these built so we can see them? Perfect. So we're going to get to see these before the nights or the episode's over. Um, Simon, how you doing? You, I think you'll get done and get back in time. All right, let that run. Rita, you were up there. You're going to come back and do some planting. That's fine. Um, glitter caps are almost entirely planted. Okay. Um, Simon Paulette, you are making that last pipe. I don't think you're going to get done in time. But otherwise, insufficient materials. We're actually low on bushes. Now, bushes are something that I might need to plant sometimes. No, I take it back. We've got a bunch of them right over here. All right, so orders and harvest. No, cut. A bunch of bushes. Yeah, let's... Now, let's try that again without hitting the animal. There we go. Cut all those bushes. Get those on the list. And we've already got all the hay marked. We've got... I'm going to have to go back and find more trees to mark, but... <clears throat> We are running out of our day. So, Carter, you drop off logs. And then let's get you... No, you're still constructing. Let's get you down here to play the handpan. Play some music. And, Paulette, you're going to have to finish that next time. But let's get you playing the... The didgeridoo. Is that what it was called? The didgeridoo. I've got to get used to that word. Who else is nearby? Rita. Handling a torch. Ah, uh, we'll, we'll be fine one night without it. Can you also play the handpan? Rita. I'm curious. Silicon leaf. You... Oh, even though there's four ways to get to it, only one person can do it at a time. That's what I wanted to know. Get out of there. Okay. So what is a silicon leaf? The pointy red plant has a bulky core with peculiar patterns which synthesizes an unlikely substance, silicon. Now, is that the same as the silicon that we got out of the mining? I don't know. Um, I mean, it, it seems like it would be, but one is a metal and this is organic, so... Hmm, I have never heard of such a plant before, so it might be unique to this world. I have named it, named it Silicon Leaf. Yep, it's the same one, Harvesting of Silicon. So, I'm, I won't ask. Planting of Silicon, okay. So that one seems important enough to make sure that we get some of that one going real soon, because there's none of it nearby. So I'm going to leave you paused for just a moment. How long have I been going? We're getting up there. So you like this area right here great and you're huge oh there's already something planted there okay i can get you oh you are really big so if i were to put you oh i guess there to there there's 97 percent can i do that again extend field one more right there there's only 78 percent there okay 72 67 i can pop 100 percent right there and if I go further, uh, 94%. Let's leave it. Oh, you need three. It won't work. Okay. Um, one more time. Extend. Yeah, you want threes. 
So let's go from there. Uh, one, two, three, one, two, three. I can I can squeeze you in there. And what can I do down here? One more time up there. Reduce, extend. You will. You give me ninety two percent right. Oh, actually, I can go one more. Ninety seven percent. I'll do that. And it still leaves me a pathway between. We're getting kind of a oh an interesting Tetris look here, and I kind of like it. So that was that. What's happening over here? So Carter's. Oh, listen to that. All right. Yeah, that is definitely interesting sound. Rita is transporting coffees. Okay. Handling the cook stove. Rita is cooking? You are... I wanted you to go over and listen to the music, but I'm curious what you're doing. You are now... Oh, you were putting firewood in it? Come on over here. Um, how can I get you over here? I can't just click. So I guess I have to draft you to come over here. Rita, run over here. I want to see if you get any kind of a bonus for listening to the music. For being in the area of the music. Uh, not a thing, right? That is Rita. Yeah, not a thing. I wonder if, if if she was sitting in a chair nearby, if she would get a plus for being entertained. I'm curious to see if that's a thing. But you guys are having a ball over here. Claim to be better at darts than Paulette. Okay. So, Carter, was that a... Uh, was annoyed by Paulette. And Paulette was annoyed by Carter. Hmm. Oh, well. Is that an episode... We get enough done here. Um, I'll go through my list later. We did get the beef berries planted. That's good. Um, we've got leather out there to go and get. So note to self. And otherwise, I think we got a lot of the list taken care of. So the to-do list. Eh, mark it done for now. We're more than halfway through summer. Year 1, day 18. And I'll catch you later, folks. Bye-bye.